Hello everyone, happy Sunday. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another CAD tutorial. Today I'm going to be helping you create a template for two A2 cards, which would measure five and a half by four and a quarter. That template you can save on your computer and utilize it as you need it, especially when you're needing to do um, several cards, depending on the occasion. All you need to do is basically tweak it. The first thing I'm going to do here is say thank you to my new subscribers, those of you who continue to watch my videos, those of you who comment. And basically, I am uh, very happy that, um, you know, at least my videos are being watched. I'm grateful even if it's one time, that's perfectly fine. But at this time, um, I'm going to go ahead and continue because I'm not uh, taping the traditional way. I'm using my cell phone, which is driving me crazy. But let's go ahead and get started. So I'm on Windows 10 Professional, and I also have a subscription for Microsoft Word. So go ahead and open your Microsoft. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to insert, um, you're going to have a blank template. So I'm just going to close this to start from the beginning. I'm going to open my Microsoft Word, click on blank template. You should be on this screen. From here, go ahead and go over from left to right until you click on layout. On the layout, you will see from left to right margin orientation size columns. We're going to do 0 0.5 all the way around, which is just my preference. Orientation will remain as portrait. Size should be 8.5 by 11 and columns we're going to use two. Okay. Now, basically, if you look over, you will see that there is a part of the ruler and a space than the rest of the ruler. So the center here basically will mark the center of your card when you're going to fold. At this time, we will move from layout. So just a quick recap, you open the uh, Microsoft Word blank um template a black paper blank whatever then you go to layout get your different your margin orientation size columns done from here you're going to go to the word insert on the insert we're going to look for shapes okay once you have the shapes you're going to just grab that diagonal line and you're going to place it in that center section where the ruler is divided and you're going to just drag it down the page now, I want to say this, you do not have to drag the line all the way down because I want you to keep seeing the circle, okay? That I'm going to show you why and tell you why. So this here is just, um, just a way to give you, you know, the way your sentiments and things will go. So you'll see. From there, we're going to go over to a line, which is here. Click on the line and do center it should align its center however sometimes the you know it looks crooked so what i do is i just kind of eyeball it a little bit and see what looks more center to me whichever part of the line that's off okay so say this is center so you have that here perfect we're going to go ahead and insert again we're going to do shape again and another line this time we're going to try to um, eyeball the center here again. You do not need to drag it all to the end. This is just a guide. Okay. Now we go to a line again and then we do, I do middle and let me see if we can do center. Okay. Now this line looks a little crooked as you can see. So what you will do is this side looks lower. You can just kind of eyeball it again and bring it up a little bit. Maybe about here would be fine. So in that way, you kind of have things, you know, together. Now we're going to go ahead and go to insert again. This time, let's see, we're going to do, if I can find it, we're looking for text box, which is, should be over to the right. So we're going to do click on the text box, but what we're going to do is to draw the box. So we're going to scroll all the way down and do draw the box. We're going to put one up in here and just leave it right there. 
then we're going to go back and do insert again and then we're going to do another text box this we're going to draw it of course and we're going to add it to the bottom so this is the first step now again these lines here are not going to remain so at this point we're going to highlight uh, this line which is the center we're going to go to shape format we're going to look for shape outline we're going to put it as white so if you notice here it's no longer there because if you don't do that it's going to come out when you print it so we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the other line shape outline and we will do white so now we just left with the two boxes okay so you type your sentiments here okay on each one If I can type, that would make sense, right? Okay, so this is just an, an idea. So you go ahead, you highlight, you choose, you go, um, you go home, and you choose here the font size. So let's say if we go in fourteen, um, and also your font style. So I'm going to use this one. Okay, now be mindful. You want all your words to print inside this box so you might have to play around a little bit so i'm going to go ahead i'm copying this uh where is it copy and i'm going to do it down here you may have to change the font the font sorry again because it may not so say we had uh 14 and then we did whoops oh dear 14 and then we did uh say this one doesn't matter yes yeah, so that's fine now also, um, if you notice up here, when you're under shape format or, you, well, home, as a matter of fact, that's why I'm sorry. You, once um, you have this section here, which gives you the size and you can change your um, font, a little further away, you'll see, you know, how you want to, um, you know, your words to be, which are over to the left, over to the right or center. So I usually like center. So you would highlight and then click on center so your words will be center. I would not advise you to use too many words, but you know, put it in such a way that your words are not too close to either lines, but just nice in the you know in the middle as much as possible. Okay, so once you have that done, then you're going to now highlight the box. You're going to go to shape format, again shape outline, and you're going to do white. So once you move that, you see there is no, there is a box there, but technically it is not showing. And you do the same for the next, which is white. Okay. Now, this here is what you'll end up with. Now, what I want to say here, and, and I'm going to um, be very careful is at this point, you're going to take any blank piece of, um, of paper, lightweight. It could be just printer paper, regular, or even... Um, construction paper but just like this is going to be what you will use to determine if your words are in the box um and what i suggest you do is like put i don't know if you can see here i have like i kind of did the um, light folds like example i did this this way and then i did that so then when you print you will see where your words are I did it with the boxes so I can actually see. So you can do that first. Um, I also had to do it again because I made a mistake. So I did this, you know, on this side. However, this is what you will need before you actually save your template. So once you have done that and you're satisfied with where everything is, understand that when you go ahead and print everything and cut it out, then you're going to have your two um, templates. Now... You can also do the front, but I'll do this in another um, tutorial because this is kind of long. I don't want to bore you guys too much with it. But I want to show you now. I, I got my template done. So here is my, my template, okay? Right here. I have already saved mine, but this is it. So I have now the two cards, basically. So now I'm going to cut across here so you can see exactly what happened so let me do this really quickly 
and then you can um see how this ends up so pretty much that's what you will where you will be with this because now you do have your template you have checked out everything make sure everything is cut in you know correctly the way you want it to and then you will have you know everything set up for yourself okay so right now all you will be doing is printing from your template so this is my first card this is my second card. Now, if you're doing to two different people, all you do is to just put whatever message you want, put their name in, whatever you want, because you want to personalize those. Um, and you do likewise this one. So then you have you can have for two different people once you print it out, which is what I have. So now I'm going to go ahead and fold one of those cards so you can see exactly um, how it is. So now this is my first card. I did the front, okay, and this is my inside. So now I have two cards and my template for whenever I need it. So guys, I hope this was useful for you. Again, I had to kind of rush this a little bit, but if you just kind of follow along as, uh, you know, and pause the video along the way, that would be very helpful for you. Now, um, if you also want to add a front, say, example, you're doing for two people and you want to um, add a front, you know, some kind of front like this, right? Now, if you can see, all you really need to do is to go ahead and remove the words and then you can um, put in a picture or anything like I did. Um, but when you're printing out the front side, you're going to have to determine how your printer works. So you go ahead, you print your words and then depending on how your printer works, you will flip your paper to suit so that you can have the image coming out on the side that it needs to. So example when i printed my words came out on this side but i want my my you know background to come out you know on the reverse so basically you will need to know how your printer works in order to get that done so guys i hope this is useful if you have any questions or need clarifications please let me know um again i had to rush this because it was um my phone was timing out so quickly so I hope this is useful for you. Your template is ready to use anytime you need it. So thank you guys again for watching and I shall see you next week. Bye-bye.